Yo, Prime members, so check this out. We are here to talk about our favorite thing in the world, and that is Amazon Prime. That's right. We all have different interests, but there's one thing that brings us together. Prime. As members ourselves, we found ways to maximize our Prime benefits to get the most out of our passions. From fast and free shipping, streaming of movies and music, and even exclusive deals and discounts, Prime has it all. And what's great is that you can use all of these services to elevate your hobbies and interests. Whether you're a bookworm, a fitness fanatic, or a gaming guru, Prime has something for everyone. I promise you that. So go ahead, explore and indulge in all that Prime has to offer. We promise you won't be disappointed. Time to get more out of whatever you're into. Prime. And that's that on that. Elon is tripping. Let me back up. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Success Playbook Podcast, where we dive into the intersection of sports and black culture. More importantly, I take pride in elevating black voices in sports. Today, we'll be addressing a recent statement made by Elon Musk. But more importantly, we'll be reaffirming our commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion with a particular focus in the sports industry. For those of you who have been living under a rock, if you're not familiar, Elon Musk recently tweeted out that DE&I must die. Musk's words may have stirred controversy, but it's our duty to transform such moments into opportunities for meaningful dialogue and progress. Now let's take a look at some statistics. On the field, the NFL boasts incredible diversity with over 70% of its players being black. Yet when we shift our focus to front offices, the picture changes. Only about 10% of front office positions are held by black individuals. It's a stark contrast and emphasizes the necessity of our ongoing commitment to DE&I. Now, I know that that is a broad statistic, but I want you to really conceptualize that. 70% of the NFL's players are black, yet a small percent are black in the front office. This means that the same diversity that's on the field is not translating into the front offices of our teams. As a DE&I practitioner in sports, I've been actively involved in programs aimed at bridging the gap for historically marginalized groups. And I take pride in cultivating these programs in order to level the playing. Now let's talk about the impact of representation. I've authored books, not for my health, but to amplify the message that there is room for a little black boy or girl in their room to dream big within the sports industry. Representation matters and these books serve as a testament to the diverse narratives that enrich the fabric of sports culture. Sports is more than just a game. It's a reflection of our society. It is a microcosm of what is actually going on in the world. It's a place where every individual should see themselves reflected from the players on the field to the decision makers in the front office. It's heartening to witness positive change, but there's still much ground to cover. Through DNI programs, we aim not just to meet diversity qu quotas, but to cultivate an environment where everyone feels valued, where everyone feels seen, and where everyone feels like they belong. As we navigate these discussions, it's essential to acknowledge the progress we've made and the transformative power of initiatives like HBCU programs. These efforts not only diversify the talent pool, but also enrich the league with unique perspectives that contribute to its ongoing evolution. In conclusion, my commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion is not just a slogan, but it is a daily call to action. I'm going to take it a step further. I have the responsibility of making sure that everybody who steps foot into the stadium where I work have the courage and feel safe enough to show up as their authentic selves each and every day. And I'm committed to that. And I do that through diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. Furthermore, by amplifying underrepresented voices, breaking down barriers, and actively engaging with programs that promote inc inclusivity, we are shaping a future where sports is a beacon of diversity and empowerment. So Elon, as long as I'm alive, DE and I will never die. Yo, Prime members, so check this out. We are here to talk about our favorite thing in the world, and that is Amazon Prime. That's right. We all have different interests, but there's one thing that brings us together. Prime. As members ourselves, we found ways to maximize our Prime benefits to get the most out of our passions. From fast and free shipping, streaming of movies and music, and even exclusive deals and discounts, Prime has it all. And what's great is that you can use all of these services to elevate your hobbies and interests. Whether you're a bookworm, a fitness fanatic, or a gaming guru, Prime has something for everyone. I promise you that. So go ahead, explore and indulge in all that Prime has to offer. We promise you won't be disappointed. Time to get more out of whatever you're into. Prime. And that's that on that.